coverage. You're going to be off balance. And Cini in a good position. Davis is gone on a call third strike. Yes. Of advanced runners. Swing and a miss. We'll get him on the K. Signed as a starter and a couple Tommy John surgeries later. Moncada's got it. And Davis is retired. Eighth and relevant part of their rotation. One ball, two strike delivery. Did he go? Check it third. Chris can't believe it. Calls made by Dan Bellino that he went around. He's put up this season. 0 oh, 2 delivery. Well, into Trois on that one. Davis strikeout victim as the booze rain down. And that's four. Three and two with one down. Abreu is holding Mancini at first. Mancini not going to run with Davis striking out a lot. This time he'll get a walk. So the Orioles have two on, only one away, trailing it by a score of one nothing here in the seventh inning. In the bunt in every situation. Third baseman still in on the cut of the grass. Davis will pop it up. Center field. Engel puts the rainmaker away, and there are two down. So that will leave it up to Tim Beck. It hit the very top of that. And bounded back to the flag court. Shortstop with a shift on. Pitch in and out on Chris Davis. As 0 2 count, two down. That's why they did it. They were counting on Chris Davis striking out. And he did. Down. And two, those MVPs, most versatile players. Knocked down, glove came off, a rocky up, throw, and he got him. Oh, mercy. He wanted to make the highlight reel, and I think he just did. Boy, what a play right there. My goodness. Now, bullet back at him, hits off the glove, and he's the first to get to the baseball. Nice job going down with the fingers there and throws a strike off balance. My goodness. Yeah, Davis knocking the leather right off the hand, and he pumps a strike over there. With the first baseman to Lee's. Beautiful play. My goodness. Never even. Thought about the glove. Watch the glove go flying. <laughs> the smash, and then it's all about getting that baseball. Man, like a shortstop right there. Nice play. One ball, two strike count on him. Valera, then Stewart. And the off speed delivery was bounced. McGuire will make the play to first for the strikeout. Off the wall. So the Orioles a chance to get another on the board. Davis will get down to first base, hit by a pitch. And the Orioles cover the corners here to start the fourth inning. That is the seventh hit batter by Sanchez this year. And the Orioles with a starter going just four innings. 2 2 delivery on the way and a swing and a miss. Tag put on and got him for the out. So Chris Davis out of there in the K. Now Davis 1 0 the count. Davis in the air to left. The Oscar Hernandez runner halfway. Two down. So bad because he does pitch quickly and he throws a lot of strikes. Two two delivery on the way, and Chris will go down swinging. About 93 at age 38. Chris is going. Where'd that come from? After the 81 mile an hour yeah. off speed yep. pitch. Look at that, right to the corner. Full count delivery. And outside and walked him. So Davis will get on and the Orioles have two on. Second walk surrendered by Sabathian. Ball. Oh, two two delivery on the way by Sabathian. Oh. oh mercy. He just swung that one in over the inside corner and gets the strikeout. Well when you're struggling you just don't track the ball. I mean this is, ends up being a hanging slider and again I mean right out of your hand you're trying to track it you just don't pick it up. I mean, right there, it's like, like he loses it. And I mean, they say that if you haven't picked it up between the last 15 feet of home plate, you can't track it. It looked like he did and then just was surprised. That ball ended against up against the Orioles, the last 10. Looking for win number eight on the year. 2 2 delivery, and again, right where he wanted it. Yeah, perfect slider. A couple of 91 mile per hour fastballs blown away, and then the slider, the good one, looks exactly like this one. You think it's a fastball, except you don't pick the spin up. 
easy to miss his fist, but this guy loves his curveball. 2 2 delivery on the way, yeah, and he went around yep. and got him. There's a good one. And Boy, if you can't slow the ball down because your swing is out of sequence, this is what happens. I mean, this is good stuff. So, two down in the ninth. Trey Mancini's on at first base. Four strikeouts for Davis. Got it. It was a little wow. pop up. Now, see, that's a piece of history. There. Right into the shift. Yeah. Torres is right there to haul it in. Chris was talking about that. He said, How many of these have I hit this year? He's off and running anyway. 3 2 delivery on the way, and Davis will get down swinging. For Lynn, that'll be strikeout number four. No runs a hit. One left on. Yankees up by one. And a foul tip into the mid held on to by Sanchez and struck him out. Well, 97 ends up pretty much right down the middle, but it is firm. Take a look once again, and Sanchez on the corner of that fastball. I mean, might have fouled it a little bit, hoping he didn't catch it, but he did. Against New York. 3 2, and he's gone. He knew it. So Batantas come on and strikes out the side here in the eighth inning. Gregorius Stanton do up for the Yankees. Holder ready. 0 2 delivery to Davis. First base. It's caught. Even wow. playing in. Void able to snag a line drive headed into right field. And Void, the legend, grows. Well, I'll tell you, this is a curveball. He smokes it. And again, you know, known for his bat. Can he pick it? Yes, he can. Wow. I was thinking, I can't tag first. Where can I go? But good base running at least keeps the bases loaded. The but ball was hit so yeah. hard, the runners didn't have time to move. And well, Chris Davis. Well, there's your quality of bat by Chris. Uh, right on the money. Now, everybody. I think that's a good <laughs> adage, and, and that's why we look at, look at the numbers. <laughs> 3 2 delivery on the way by Tanaka and he strikes the side out. So three K's for him. Michael Elias will hang with us here for another half inning. We'll talk about the Orioles in the future. Yankees up. Five, seven to the O's. 2 2 delivery on the way and uh, swing and a miss as he went upstairs. Well, again, you talk about analytics. The analytics on uh, Chris Davis try to stay away from out over the plate, down in the zone, the middle of the zone, and then when you get ahead, up the ladder. So he adds a little. We've seen him, you know, 91 all day long until he needs a little extra. Goes to 93. One and two. And not the way Chris wanted to start because it's the same way it ended. Three strikeouts. Well, this guy's got great movement, great velocity, and then uh, the strike zone's gotten bigger. And, and the net balls, it looks like it might have gotten the upper strike. Again, Sanchez does a nice job. I mean, he drags it right back into the strike zone, which is becoming more liberal as this game proceeds. 15 chance of stealing. Ball tagged in the air to center, going back. Warning track room and hauled in just shy of the fence. Gardner goes back to get a Davis retired. One ball, one strike count. Davis goes the other way, not hit hard. Flip throw will be made and Davis is retired for the second out. Uh, third baseman over there on Duha. 1 1 delivery on the way to Chris. Put up in the air, not deep center field. Runner halfway. Gardner puts it away. Davis is retired and there are two down here in the sixth inning. And the third, he's had lifetime against the Yankees. Inside and walked him. Uh, Davis is on with a walk. No big pitch right here. Three, two, one out. Sacks fold. Davis will take it, and he's going to get an RBI. Foley can't believe it. He thought he had a strike. So Davis, a bases loaded walk, and the Orioles have a three nothing lead, and the bases will stay loaded with only one out. Here's the three one delivery by the left hander. Davis will go on top of that one to first base. Flip is made. Smoke getting it to Pinnell, and there are two down. Yeah, hit the wrong guy right there. Uh, Justin Smoke, one of the stronger defensive years last year at uh, first base. Man that can eat up some innings. Pinnell definitely doing that for the Blue Jays. 
One two delivery on the way and the left hander goes upstairs and gets K. He's got four strikeouts. A lot of pitchers attacking the top of the strike zone here. Uh, so many hitters now thinking about driving the ball, hitting home runs, so there's always a little bat dip. And when that back shoulder drops and the front shoulder comes out of there, it's tough to stay on top of a good heater. That one six and a third. That pitch is there, and Davis is called out. Nice block right there. Yeah, last night he let a couple ball, balls go through that five hole. Yeah. One ball, two strike count, shift on against Chris, and he's gone. So the strikeout there will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one run. Nice action works back on the inner third. 2 2 delivery goes after Heat upstairs. That's four K's for Stroman. Play on that throw over that time. So Davis now with an RBI chance. Drives the ball to center field. Ashford is there. And he will put it away for the out. And they're going to walk him. That is an intentional walk. How about that? Get that double play in order. Don't want to take the chance right there. Pitch to Davis. And then that might be the swing that gets him out of things. Out of the zone, Davis waving at it there. And then goes downstairs. It'll be dropped. Play's got to be made at first base, and it is. Maley gets it there, and a strikeout and an assist. Shoemaker uh, start Davis off with a get me over split finger, then a high fastball, and that is the buried split finger, looking like the heater out of the hand, and then just disappearing into the dirt. Quick work at Davis. 3-0. Chris is on four straight. So there is the first walk the Orioles have picked up in the ball game, and there are two on. Two and two. Davis rips it, but right to right. McKenney's right there, right where he needed to be. He didn't have to move but one step. Yeah, not a lot of hard hit balls today by the Oriole offense, but every time they do square it up, somebody is standing right in the way of it. Nice swing by Chris Davis with an Adam ball. So two down here in the eighth. So he pitched to the scattering report and, and bouncing pitches and walking people. Chris Davis. Chris got a nice welcome. And you know as a fan you had to be wondering what was the reception going to be for Chris with the struggles last year. He's not had a hit yet this year. But he got a nice welcome on the introductions on the orange carpet. The Oriole fans cheering for him. Boy would he like to get one right here. 1 0 delivery on the way, and that one brushed right by the hand. Well, you know, I was talking to him today, and he said, Listen, I got a pretty good idea. Last year, you talked about it in New York, what the lefties hit 330 off of Paxton, righties only 202, even though more home runs by the right handers. He said he has trouble getting the ball in, so I'll look away, and hopefully, right here, hey, gets a ball right here, maybe he'll drive one. 2 0 delivery on the way, strike of the knees. Look at the pitch count. Already for Paxton, he's double where he would like to be. Well, the other thing, Gary, is with all these injuries, they've only scored five runs in their last three games. Yeah. Now, it doesn't mean, I mean, Cobb's got to be, hey, get me more. Davis will foul that one off the other way. Tarpley already up in the bullpen for the Yankees. Two ball, two strike count. VR started it with a homer. Mancini a walk. Nunez a single. Ruiz a walk to load him. There's been a balk and a wild pitch scoring two runs in the inning. 2 2 delivery on the way and he'll swing and miss on a pitch away. So Paxton gets the strikeout but the Orioles are on the board. It As just they, slows the ball down because you you, you know your eyes are, are connecting with your brain and you know he's gone. Yeah, I mean that's a perfect like 97 low and away but the more pitches you track the better chances you have a chance to to get ready to hit. I mean this is a perfect pitch. But again, when you don't see the ball, and you you can't be struggled as much as Chris if you're seeing the ball. That's just I don't care who you are. Officially 0 for 16, 20 plate appearances. Three ball, two strike count, and reaching on a pitch way out of the strike zone. Boy, his back doesn't make a great pitch. I mean, since he gave up the three runs in the first inning, he's been exactly what you expect. And the Yankees expect him to be. It's nine strikeouts, and that's going to be it for Paxton. 
How about this? Chris Davis is going to be the pinch hitter. Fans are willing him a hit. First and third. Nobody out. Odovino. Look over, long look. Davis will take it. It is up high for a ball. Yeah, and he's going to find out it's a small strike zone. A very consistent. Talk about your manager believing in you. Here's Chris Davis still trying to find a hit. And the, the good thing about here, he doesn't have to get a hit. He has to make contact. I mean, any fly ball of any depth. You got good speed at third. It's hard to throw him any, but Mullins out at home plate. Chris ground ball first base drop throw to the plate Safe. not in time Mullins well, gets underneath it as bird bobbled and wanted to come home. Well Sanchez, Davis is also yeah. safe because he did not tag the bag and Sanchez didn't have his feet on the plate. He goes look at it. Well I'm going to look at it. You're going to find out. Take a take a look right here now again top spin not an easy play. There's your bobble but look at Sanchez his feet can't tell from that angle. Watch this. See. Throw beats him. Knee gets there and then he tags him. It'll What's be a fielder's choice and an RBI for Chris Davis. It's a force play and Sanchez didn't know it. You think so? Two down. And wouldn't you know it? As the baseball gods would have it, here is Chris Davis. He came up as a pinch hitter. In the seventh inning, hit one down to first, got an RBI on what was a fielder's choice. He's not had a hit since September 14 of 2018. He will take the pitch. It is He's in the third base. Mullins hit by a pitch. He's at second. The R reached on an error. He's at first. Two two delivery on the way. Davis ground ball to first base handled by Bird and will record the out. So the Orioles no runs no hits an error and three left on base. In the air to left. Frazier. And one down here in the third inning. Merrill making sweet. Slow strides, and you know, again, the contact. You know, one was off Chan Green. He hit it very sharply. If he finds a hole, it's a couple RBIs, ties the game. The other one 0 pitch on the way to him. Chris in the air to center, going back his guard. And he will put it away for the out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We know what every fan is thinking here. Let's get out of the over with a salami. Pitches inside for a ball. I think he'd take a jam shot to center. Anything. Anything at all right now. His hitting instructor is with the Pirates for the last five. Oh. Gonna get away and a run will score. And the Orioles are on the board. Whatever you throw up there, like you could throw over. And a breaking and ball gets him. Yep. Freezes him. When you're in that kind of pro, you know pronounced drought hitting it's just you're not tracking the ball you could just see that hesitation he makes a good pitch but you could just see just and nods his head just not seeing what's coming it's out of the end of the Oakland series with a four game losing streak swing and a miss by Davis well that's the tunnel effect where you throw you know fastballs a little late that ball's ripped to right field right there is Piscotti and he's got it for the out so Davis retired one away he has two errors tonight. Line drive left field falling falling and in the glove of Robbie Grossman it hung up there just long enough for him. So two hard hit balls off the bat of Davis and he's 0 for 2. Well all you can do as you mentioned you can't steer it. That was a little bit better because he stayed inside it. And so you're seeing slowly maybe knowing where the bat hit is a little bit better. Right there inside the ball. And then again, it's the perfect guy for him to hit off because he doesn't throw. He's not one of these guys that throws. Line drive left field, but it hangs up for Grossman, and he goes back on it and makes the catch. Now another line drive. Another, hey, want to hit it to left. Down, you got to break a bat. Got to get jammed. Hit it softly. A doink. A doink is in your vernacular. 
So Davis 0 for 3. And he continues to throw strikes and now Chris Davis the elusive base hit this year. Three pretty good swings tonight. Strike three call the fastball on the inside corner Davis does not agree. So the strikeout ends the seventh the leadoff walk a man left we head to the eighth with the O's in front. One and two. And he got him got him with the change up the play will be made to first. And that'll do it Davis 0 for 5 on the night but the Orioles expect that he'll be in the starting lineup tomorrow. Well it's a good matchup you know Petit. He could pitch. He moves it around, but he's not one of these guys that's in the mid 90s. Going to be 89 or 90. The Royal fan base hoping that he will get a base hit. Nice Great. ovation again yeah. for him. I'm glad they hung around. Look at those numbers, pitch hitting. Center field. Loriano is back on it appears to have a play he does and he's got it for the out. Well the fans thought it was going out. Well, it's a long fly ball out and one away. Well we invite you to stay tuned for O's Extra presented by W.B. Mason following the game who has the name brand products you love at amazingly low prices who but W.B. Mason the official office product supplier of the Baltimore Orioles. Tom and Rick are standing by. They are up next. Nice ovation for Chris Davis who is still looking for his first hit of the year and the fans are definitely behind him. Well it's not like anybody doesn't want him to get hits except the opposition. So and if he's going to play you want him to be an integral part of this offense. So, I mean it's 0 for what 0 50 but it's really only 0 for 29. I mean, Last year was you want to put that in the trash can and tracking the ball like he'd like to. Center field, Loriano is back on it, back on it, and makes the catch. Takes a base hit away from Davis. So he hits it hard again, and nothing to show for it. O's go three up, three down. Loriano hauls it in for the final out of the second. I think he'd love to have a little ground ball to his left the second baseman pro far and he gets him at first. What do you call him doinks he'd take a doink. Those go three up three down in the fourth. Oh, he needs to throw him a strike here. And he walked him so the bases are loaded with nobody down. Speed now. And how about this scenario. Yeah. Go ahead run at the plates they're looking for his first hit of the year. That'll end that streak. Wow strike three called on the outside corner. So that's a big out for Soria two down. To close him up three two delivery to Davis. That'll go uh, to second base. Nunez hauls it in and that will do it. Interesting last night he had only one at bat Chris Davis. He's starting today and the Red Sox fans applauded him last night and they are applauding again today. Now is that a harsh treatment and a Bronx kind of applause or is it a heartfelt one where they're cheering for him to hope things get turned around but not today. I don't know. <laughs> Pitch will be taken inside. Why not break the offer with a grand slam. Let's get it over with. Real fans on hand here. Get a hit. He hasn't had one this year, of course. 0 for 38 continues that major league record streak of at bat and plate appearances without a hit. Porcello out of the full wind up. Davis is going to get one. Base hit into right field. And Sadie will score. Smith will score. RBIs one and two. And for Chris Davis, it's over, baby. We're not talking about it anymore. And the Orioles go on top two to nothing. <laughs> Davis himself asking for the baseball. <laughs> wow. Well, nice swing for Chris Davis. 
And maybe a little bit of a Bronx cheer here at Fenway Park as the crowd really uh, coming to their feet for Chris Davis, picking up the two out knock with the bases loaded. The Orioles do make that first mark. Porcello trying to sneak that fastball in the inside corner, but Davis staying short to it. Really going to be the key for Chris Davis if he wants to have consistency direct to the baseball and there was no length on that swing at all. He took the bat head right to the ball. Nice clean single with a couple stakes on the board for Chris Davis. Dana Lavazzi pitching coach comes out but what a low that is. He came into that at bat weighing 1,550 pounds. He comes through after that at bat weighing 205. <laughs> right. Absolutely. And he did it with two down. So the Orioles do get on the board early in the ball game. And here's a major league record 0 for 54. Lee's pint and shell in Baltimore has an open bar for two hours after the game if he gets a hit today. Hair of the dog on Federal Hill free corn dogs if he gets a hit today. Kid you not and he'll take ball one. And Purcell starts them off with a changeup, missing down and in. He's got four career home runs off Porcello. They are all loaded up, man, one nothing. And that one's ripped into right field. He's off the Schneid. One run in. Here comes Smith in. He will score. Chris Davis. For the first time since September of last year has himself a hit in a major league game. Wants the ball. And everybody's drinking and eating in Baltimore. He did. He wanted the baseball. And they threw it back in. The third base coach has it. All his teammates pulling for him. Well, it's a two run single to put the Orioles in front two to nothing. It's like your first major league hit you know you want the baseball after that streak ends he wants the baseball. He gets a fastball middle in and this time a top spin line drive to pick up the base hit and more importantly drive in two runs. Had a soft line drive to second base last night. Look at the reaction in the dugout for his teammate from his teammates. It's a free shot of something at Bartender's Pub in Baltimore for all the patrons. And his first hit since September 14th of last year. With all the hits he's had in the majors, he wants the baseball. Imagine that. I would too. I want about three of them.